Hello dear students, welcome back to the lecture series of Digital Electronics. In this video, we are going to discuss about signed and unsigned binary numbers. In the previous videos, we had discussed about different types of number systems like binary number system, octal number system, decimal number system and hexadecimal number system. In our day to day life, we use positive numbers as well as negative numbers to count different types of events or objects etc okay so in our day to day life we use plus sign to represent positive numbers and minus signs to represent negative numbers okay plus sign for positive number and minus sign for negative number however because of hardware limitations in digital devices like computers or a mobile phone or any digital device, both positive and negative numbers are represented with only binary digits or we can say binary number system. All the digital devices works on a group of 8 bits which is also known as a byte of data. The group of 8 bit data which is also known as a 1 byte data in which the leftmost bit represent the sign of the number in our case b7 represent a sign number and remaining bits are works as a magnitude of the number and b7 or bit 7 indicate the sign of the given number okay in that case 0 indicate positive sign and one indicate negative sign in digital or binary number system we have only two bits first one that is zero and second one that is one okay so if b7 is equal to b7 is equal to zero then we can say the given number is positive number if b7 or bit 7 is equal to one then we can say the given number is negative number okay so b7 bit indicate sign of the given binary number because digital devices like computer can't understand the positive number or negative number so in that case the group of 8 bits which is also known as one byte of data in which first one or leftmost bit b7 indicate the sign of the number and remaining bits from b6 to b0 indicate the magnitude of the number for example if i want to represent plus 6 which is a sign number in decimal number system and we want to represent this number in sign binary number okay so as we discuss we have to represent the given decimal number with the help of 8 binary bits in which bit 7 indicate the sign of the number in our first example we have number with positive sign so first bit or leftmost bit that is b7 is 0 okay so given number indicate a positive number and remaining b6 to b0 indicate the magnitude of the number so we have 6 and as we discussed in our previous video if we want to convert the given number into binary so we have to divide the given number with 2 okay so if i divide with 2 then first one that is 3 then if i divide again then i got 1 1 okay and if i write the binary number so i get 1 1 0 okay so we can say that the first one bit that is b0 second one that is b1 third one that is b2 and remaining bits are 0 that is b3 b4 b5 and b6 okay so if we write over here then b0 is equal to 0 then b1 is equal to 1 then b2 that is again 1 then b3 is equal to 0 and up to b6 all the other bits are 0 so this 7 bits indicate the magnitude magnitude of the given number that is 6 
and B7 bit indicate a sign of the number and B7 is equal to 0. So 0 indicate the positive number, 0 indicate positive number or B7 bit indicate a sign of the number. Okay, this way we can convert any sign number into a binary format. Okay, with given sign. Okay, let's take one more example. For example, we want to represent 24 plus 24 decimal number into a binary sign binary number. Okay, so if you convert the given number 24 into binary format, then we get 24 divided by 2, we get 0 and uh, 12 and remainder 0. Okay, if we again divide 12 with 2, so I get 6 with remainder 0. If we divide 6 with 2, then I get 3 with remainder 0. If we divide 3 by 2, then we get 1 answer and 1 remainder. And if we write the final answer, so we get 1, 1, then 3 times 0. Okay. In 8 bit data, we have B0 to B6 that are the magnitude bits, and we have only 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 bits. So remaining bits are 0. So these are the 7 bits that indicate magnitude of the number that is 24. And 24 is a positive number. So as we discussed, if we have positive number, then B7 bit decay. B7 bit 7 indicate the sign of the number and if sign is positive then B7 is equal to 0. So this is our final answer in binary format or sign binary format. Okay. So if I write over here then number is equal to 0 0 1 1 and again triple 0. That is the final answer for the given question. Okay. Now let us take one negative example. Okay. For example we have one number that is minus 14 in decimal number. Okay. And we want to convert this decimal number into sign binary number. Okay. So first of all, ignore the sign of the number. Okay. And consider the magnitude of the given question. Okay. We have 14 that is a decimal number. And we want to convert that 14 number, that number into binary formats. So divide 14 divide by 2 so we get 7 and remainder 0 if we divide 7 divide by 2 then we get 3 and 1 remainder if we divide 3 divide by 2 then we get 1 and 1 remainder okay and if i write the final answer so i get 1 1 1 0 okay we have 7 bits of magnitude b6 to b0 okay so we have only 4 bits in our answer so add remaining zeros okay so here is the magnitude of the given question 7 bit magnitude okay last one that is the b7 or bit 7 that indicates sign okay we have negative sign over here and as we discussed earlier, if number is negative, then B7 bit 7 is 1. So add 1 at the place of B7. So this is the final answer for the given question for the minus 14 decimal number. So if I write over here, then 1 that is sign bit and remaining bits are indicate the magnitude of the given number. Okay. So this is the final answer for the given question. Okay. Now, if you have a question that how many numbers we can represent with the help of a sign binary number. Okay. So the maximum positive numbers and maximum num negative number we can represent with the help of B0, B7 to B0 bits. Okay. So to calculate the maximum positive number, we can use B0 to B7 bits. B0, B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6 to B7. Okay. We want to calculate the positive numbers. Okay. So for positive number, B7 bit indicate 0. 
okay and we want to calculate maximum number so how can we calculate maximum number we can use all the beds one 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 at the place of all the seven bits of magnitude and if we convert the given binary bits into decimal so we get plus 127 plus 127 decimal number okay that means we can indicate maximum 127 in the sign binary number okay we cannot represent plus 128 with the help of sign binary number of 8 bits okay that this way we can calculate maximum negative number okay let's write again b0 b1 b2 b3 b4 b5 b6 and b7 now as we discuss our maximum number is negative so for negative number b7 bit indicate 1 and we want to calculate maximum number so use all the magnitude bits are 1 okay and if you convert these bits then 1 indicate negative sign and remaining bits consider as magnitude similarly in positive uh, number 0 indicate positive sign and remaining bits 7 bits are indicate the magnitude of the number so if you convert these 7 bits into the decimal number system then we get 127 and b7 bit bit 7 that is 1 that indicate negative sign for the given number so this way we can calculate the maximum negative number in the decimal number system okay we get minus 127 that is the maximum negative number we cannot represent minus 128 with the help of 8 bit 8 bit sign binary numbers okay to represent minus 128 we need 9 bit binary number system okay in which 9th bit indicate the sign of the number and remaining 8 bits indicate the magnitude of the number clear similarly if we want to represent plus 128 then we need 9 bit binary number system okay in which 9th bit indicate the sign of the number and remaining 8 bits indicate the magnitude of the number clear so this sign numbers used in arithmetic operation of the given numbers in the digital devices clear so in the next video we will discuss about the arithmetic operations like addition subtraction of the binary number system octal number system and hexadecimal number system thank you